My name is Jordan Persigardi, and I'm an artist. Some people even say a pretty good one. Very talented, as you can see. But it wasn't always that way. In fact, I used to be terrible. Before there were these, there were those. Before there was this, there was that. How did I improve so much? And why did I stick at it when so many more talented people gave up and moved on to different things? Before we get into my journey, I wanted to quickly share with you guys the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. D did Jordan just get a sponsored video with all these horror drawings? All these creepy stuff someone wants to sponsor? What? Thank you, Skillshare. I can afford to buy some refills for my copies. Thank you. Jokes aside, Skillshare is actually a really cool service. I've done a sponsored video for them in the past and I'm happy to put my name behind them because I think it's really cool and potentially beneficial to a bunch of you guys who want to bring your artwork to the next level but maybe don't have the money to go to expensive art classes and study art, which, yeah, isn't for everyone, wasn't for me. So this gives you a cool option to study online. There are so many different classes, not just drawing. There's editing, photography, business. There's pretty much anything you could want to learn. You can find it there. The annual subscription is less than $10 a month. So it's really good value. I've got a special promo for you guys. So if you click the link in the video description, you'll get access to two free months of Skillshare Premium. Do it. But with that being said, let's jump back into my journey. Let me show you where it began. The year 2000. Well, it didn't exactly all start here. I was born in 1992 on the lucky day of October the 13th. Yeah, I was destined to draw creepy stuff, even at my birth. As you can see, I wasn't some natural talent or some born prodigy. I was just average. This drawing of Charizard, I'm pretty sure I attempted to trace it, and it still looks messed up, but I was proud of it at the time. I started out by using crayons, and eventually I'd progress to coloured pencils, and later, my favourite, Copic markers. But that was a long way off. At this stage, I had no idea they even existed. I had no idea artworks could even be created in such a way. I didn't grow up with Instagram. I had a very limited knowledge of the artwork that was out there. I'd create weird art projects at school. Spiral things, Easter cards, even something out of blue tack. I'd love decorating things, making a normal list into something artistic, and embellishing it. Even my Christmas wish list. I did learn art at school. I often get asked if I was self-taught or had classes. But as you can see, I was hardly a model student when it came to art. Looking back, I can see how little effort I put in. I was stubborn with the way I learnt. I wanted to do things my way, and if it wasn't my way, I wouldn't put much effort in because I didn't see the point. Maybe I just wasn't ready to grow as an artist. I can see now that I was kind of silly and I could have improved a lot quicker if I put more effort in. But at the same time, I realise that everyone learns in their different ways and to assume everyone is going to learn equally as well from an art class is just not true. When I look at my old art books, I can see that there was something there. Something creative at least, even if it wasn't refined and it was still a rough skill set that I had. I had the urge to create, whether that was drawing characters from video games, which were a big influence on me at the time. I definitely had an active imagination which wanted to create things, but I didn't have the skill to bring that to life in the way I wanted, and it was often frustrating for me, having all these things I wanted to put on paper, but they never turned out how I wanted them to. And I feel like that can be very discouraging for certain artists, especially when you're starting out, 
and when you see other great artists creating seemingly perfect images and you're left creating weird stuff like this, it can be very off-putting. I hope this video well and truly convinces you that skill isn't something you're just born with. Sure, there are some prodigies who are amazing at a young age, but that wasn't me. That isn't the majority of artists out there. It's hard work, and lots of it, that gets you good. I have no idea what this drawing is meant to be, but it's creepy as hell, and it looks strangely similar to some of my more recent drawings. I've come a long way. I mentioned earlier that I liked video games. I liked adventures, different pathways with monsters and creatures and dangers at every corner where only the brave would survive. Eventually those drawings would turn into something I was really proud of at the time. I'd spent hours creating these detailed drawings with different stories of every part of the picture. You could look at any corner and you'd see a different story a different character facing its own challenge. I remember drawing these at school, having pride when I showed my friends. I didn't have Instagram back then. There was no sharing your art on a social media for likes and attention that way. This was showing people in person, and I was always proud, even if my drawings weren't always the best. Fast forward to 2018, and I'm drawing more than ever. 2018 has been a really interesting year. It's come, it's gone, it had its ups and it had its downs, but I'm really happy with how it ended. I was a little bit lost with the direction I wanted to take my channel through parts of the year. I feel like I was clinging to previous successes and unwilling to change in certain ways. But by the end of the year, I'm actually the happiest I've ever been with my content. I know not everybody likes change, but I feel like generally, most of you guys who have been watching have been really positive about the changes that's come to the channel. There's more personality in what I'm doing, it feels more creative for me, I feel like I'm actually sharing a little part of myself at least with you guys, and you get to see that. I'm not just a faceless artist who reads other people's stories and draws other people's characters. I feel like I'm creating something that's unique to me, and that is really satisfying for me, and hopefully it's fun for you guys to watch. It's been really interesting looking at all these drawings over the past year, and I know it's hard to see improvement sometimes, and I've occasionally posted redraws of some of my older drawings on Instagram, You'll get people saying I liked the old one better and that type of thing. So you can often not notice the improvements that you're making because as you get better, it gets slower to improve. It's like a bell curve. We've all seen that at school. That's the one thing I remember. Improvement at first is rapid, but once you start getting a lot better, it starts getting slower and you kind of just drop off and slowly trundle along trying to improve the little things. It was really cool looking back at my old stuff. Looking back when I was like 8 and 9, 10, and looking how far I've come. I feel like that's really motivating and encouraging to keep going, and hopefully you guys find it the same. I know there's lots of amazing artists out there, and occasionally they post their older work, but I feel like I shared a lot of my older work with you guys, so hopefully it's really clear that I wasn't special that skills are only refined through repetition, lots of practice. But we've all heard that before, everyone always says it, I know it gets just repetitive hearing the same thing, we'll just move on. As we look through the last few drawings of this video, I want to take the chance to thank you, personally, for sticking around, supporting my content. Earlier in the video I asked the question, why did I stick at it when so many other people gave up? And I think a big part of it was you. It sounds really lame and like I'm trying to suck up or something like that, but it's honestly true. Sharing my art with you guys watching, with Instagram, YouTube, just motivated me to keep going. The encouragement from random strangers who have felt some type of connection with my art 
inspired me to stick at it. So I can't thank you guys enough and I hope that some of you will stick around for the new year and support me through 2019 and hopefully beyond. So thank you for watching the video and I wish you all the best for the new year. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content and also check out the sponsor Skillshare if you want to bring your artwork to the next level this year. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys next week in the next drawing video. Thanks for watching.